All right, folks, welcome back to 1.11.1 on the common test server. So for this video, we'll play a few rounds of the Rysoroni, the Renault Soronte, however you pronounce it. But I think this vehicle is more of a second line offense heavy tank. You don't play this thing up front. You don't play it like a Super Conqueror or Object 277. You take your time. You flank around with mediums or you play it as a medium, heavy medium use gun depression and sometimes the burst damage or the flexibility of the burst damage but you don't trade shots you try to survive as long as possible and then you move on to a heavy tank medium tank roll like a t57 heavy or amx 50b so you wait your turn and you take your shots carefully but the longest reload is 18.7 seconds the shortest reload is 14.7 seconds. For a 490 alpha, that is quite long at tier 10. But then again, if this thing has like 12 seconds for the fastest reload, it might be a little bit OP. But then again, uh, it's situational. You don't always have the fastest reload. But you get compensated with the parentheses of the improved auto reloader system for the heavy tanks. Now, it doesn't need any firepower boost, such as aim time or accuracy. I do recommend the vertical stabilizer because moving the vehicle's hull and shooting while moving is not great. So I did mount a vertical stabilizer, but I also mounted a turbocharger to help with the speed. It's more of a medium tank heavy, so I do recommend this a little bit more passive of a playstyle. Don't be too aggressive with this vehicle. And I did have vents to help out with the DPM, but DPM just sucks altogether. So think of a medium tank hunter when you play this vehicle. Don't think of it as a chieftain. Don't think of it as an object 277 or super conqueror when you play this vehicle. Think of it more like a T57 heavy or AMX 50B. So play it on the second line. But let's play a few rounds. I did go through all the stats with the leaked video prior. And this is the second iteration of the common test. There were no buffs for now. At least I noticed. Or they did not release the patch notes for the second test. Or second iter uh, iteration of the test. So, meh. But let's see how good a 9 skill crew is. Basically, you dump a lot of free XP. About 25 million. <laughs> Free XP to just get your crews up to like 9 skills or 6 skills, which is ridiculous. Nobody has that much free XP. <laughs> Unless you pay hefty amounts of money. But then again, you still have to get it from premium tanks to convert it and stuff. Or vehicles that you already elited. But holy crap, this thing... It's okay. I mean, it's a decent medium tank when you think about it. As for heavy, mm, it's no chieftain, so don't recommend. You could bounce a few shots with the turret because the periscopes act as space armor. Like the little rods in front of the turret or the cheeks of the turret. Those are actually space armor. And I already bounced a 420mm pen high explosive anti-tank shell from a Yakpanzer E100. So it is viable as a armor bouncing medium tank in terms of turret design but mm, don't stand in the way of artilleries or high explosive rounds or high caliber guns people will shoot gold shells and yeah it's all right of a medium but let's see how well we do so i put vents turbocharger and We're vertical stabilizer it. but nine skill crew it should be faster, obviously, than of the Super Conquerors or Object 277s. All right. But it obviously cannot keep up with medium tanks because it's a heavy. And it takes a while to reload. That chap uh, pushing up. Don't give me a large heavy. Oh, 
old shell, bounce off of the mantle in front. Detrack in to the Super Conquer. Oh, Super Conquer missed. So that's the downside of this tank. It takes way too long to reload for you to help out your teammates if they're uh if they're bogged down or uh suppressed. Oh, and gun depression. Yeah, gold shell will penetrate the turret sides if they miss the periscopes, so that's the downside. Shoot the you shot the hole. So it takes a while and you'll left you'll be left defenseless until you have your reload up and gun depression is 10 degrees but it takes a while doom cannon take our time we have our teammates this is a very situational heavy tank because it relies on your teammates to cover you while you're reloading we are being flanked, but there's a two four double. Got my gun. Why do you shoot my gun? That's... Gold shell into the space armor and it's still pinned. No. Above the gun, that's where the weak spot is. Oh, nice. Got the. Polish medium. This 277 is very brazen. You don't take side scraping, you just goes out of your way. Oh, two four double fives will handle the heavies. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfectly covered. No. So as you can see, I can shoot above the gun, and I missed. <laughs> That's the weak spot for this vehicle. There's a little triangular or uh, trapezoid area above the gun, and that's the main weak spot. Want to poke around? Oh, he's he's not. Oh, we have the health, let's push it. Alright, Super Conqueror, we're going moving forwards. Move up, move up. No time to hesitate, move up. Oh yeah. Big freaking alpha damage. Gold shell pin, space armor on the tracks. Yeah. Where's the 50B? He, yeah, no idea. He's on low health, I think. There he is. So you do need teammates as support to help you not die. Shooting on the move sucks, obviously. Big got him. Big got him. Got him. No, 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 Batman, then I hit something. Hit the gun of the Grill 15. <laughs> Wonderful. You do pump out a lot of damage, but this thing. I wouldn't recommend this thing taking a hit. That's the only downside. It's a heavy medium. Play as a medium, you'll do a lot better. Don't be too aggressive. And I think the tier 9 is a, is a sweet spot for the entire line because it has about just as much DPM, but it has a better turret, quote unquote, I think, maybe, maybe not. But if you catch somebody out, it's still a lot of damage. It's about 1500 damage in about 8 seconds or so. So, as for this match, I'll probably not go towards the hill. 
uh, you play this thing more passively or reserved, if you will. But all right, personal missions. What the frick? That's not what I want. All right, we have one EBR. They have one EBR. That's all the lights we get. A few quick mediums, I guess. They have a few more mediums. Centurion, Leopard, STB, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five mediums. Trade off. Four TDs against five TDs. Two artilleries. They have, we have more heavies. They have more mediums. Or one more tank destroyer. Alright. But I wouldn't think this is a. It's like a T110 E5 compared to an M103. M103 got buffed and it has a DPM, but uh, the, the tumor is so huge on the T110 E5 that it's just. Ugh. Car is spotting middle. Alright. Uh, I said we are not going hill, but we're going hill anyways. Fuck. There is one artillery, so it's not as bad, I guess. But we're keeping up with mediums. Or somewhat of keeping up. It is 127mm gun. We'll overmatch a few of the armors of uh, slope STRVs, but they have a badger, a few of the combat he uh, tank destroyers, heavy tank destroyers. Assault gun tank to shores. Badger is brazen. <laughs> Alright. You're playing a badger, whatever. You have some armor. There is a Kranwagen, but he's not on the hill yet. STB are already there. We have a STRV guarding some of the entrance towards the hill, but it looks like they're not pushing the hill. Alright, everybody push. STB is already up here as well. Two STBs. So I think this is more of a, well then again, more of a medium tank hunter of a heavy tank. Lever 1, you are no turret armor. Alright, let's see how good the gun is. Don't shoot this thing on movement though. Weak spots. That thing is hard to pin unless I overmatch his armor. Almost over match. Oh come on, that's on his side of the hall. Alright, you have teammates, so don't get artillery focused. Give yourself time. Veer off and flank around a little bit. Jam enters Amorak. Or bristle rack, same thing. All right, go go E50 if you want. Go 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 go. Downside is you don't have the DPM to do heavy assaults like this to keep up with the DPMs. Oh, do I have a shot? Number one ate it. Who shot the one thirteen? Oh, crown wagon shooting gold. Yeah. Alright, everybody stop pushing! Squirtle me in the E4! Stop pushing me! Being caught out, so you don't want to be caught out. Take your time. Nice. All right, everybody's in. Leper one got the badger. Nobody's on base. Fe four double fives. Hit. 
I don't want that. Now I expose around in my face. Reload is so long, everybody fires gold. Shoot the little commander thing. Do we have our oh. Splash some. Nice. Terry's still in play. Push up, you're dead if you push up. Like I said. There's two tanks covering Leopard 1 and a S. Oh, not the Leopard 1. Artillery and uh, uh, STB and the Rhino. Nice. Oh, actually. Sometimes you're lucky. You get artillery now. Soon. Oh, it's a T92. That takes a while. That is. <laughs> takes a little bit while. It's an EU player. Oh. Uh, we'll wait for our teammates. This is not a full-on assault heavy tank, so give your teammates some break. Ah, you missed. He tracked him. Give ourselves time to reload. Doesn't have the shot. I have all the time in the world. I'll wait for my teammates. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. All the baiting, slowly baiting. We have artillery in play. There he is. Sometimes you cannot win a straight on. Nobody fights fair. Don't fight fair. I want to go show him this. He's not good. We'll take our time to reload. I have a clue. Take our sweet ass time. <laughs> uh, I'm dead. I'm dead to one of his high explosive the tank rounds. He's dead to one of my shells. Ah, shit. Yeah, I have all day long. It's okay. <laughs> stalling. I'm just stalling. Keep it, it's okay. Stop. There we go. Just stall. Oh, one got jammed into my. Oh no, it's from. It looks like it got jammed from a ricochet. A shot trap into my upper uh, turret ring. It's not. It just bounced off from the upper plate. Alright. Just stall. No heroics. No heroics. God, give me some stuff right here. Stalling. It's okay. It's think of it like a medium. Don't think of it as a heavy. Stall. You don't have the DPM to go toe to toe with most tier 10 mediums or heavy tanks. <laughs> you have the flexibility, but it's a it's a niche, a choir taste of a heavy tank. If people rush you, obviously, yeah, you'll you'll be cut out. A lot of TDs. One, two, three, four, five. Um, 
pretty much a lot of medium or heavies. Only one medium. Two lights. We have less tank destroyers. They have more. We have two more mediums. So trade off of medium tanks to tank destroyers. We have more doom cannons. Camp back a little bit more. They have one artillery, which is accurate and fast firing. All right. I think I get it. Alright, we're going to camp as the proper camping spot. We're not playing this as a heavy against a close range mouse or 277 or maybe even the Yak Panzer E100 or E3 yeah, for that matter. All will be spamming gold shells, all will be jamming shells into the turret cheeks, and that's bad for business. Oh, 277 is not even going there. Interesting. He got caught out by STB. He's pushing up. Hmm. All right. Oh, crazy. Only have a 4005. SDB is watching the the valley nook, so he'll see if anybody's coming up for now. Sheridan, why do you ram 277? <laughs> and all right, we're here. Might be in the bushes, maybe the 62A. Nice. I have the 405 with the spotting EBR. I'm I'm should be good for now. We have a badger below us. We go around a little bit more. STB is also supporting. We go around. He's firing like we go show. Badger run. Run, Badger run. Oh, he wants to jam a shot. It's a 127. 123 for the Badger, I think. It's a weird caliber size. Last show in the clip ready. SDB ran off. Patrick, what are you doing? Gets two guns. Armor's not that good. My gun is not that good. Got him anyways. <laughs> yeah, go show from the mouse as expected. Oh, push up! Please push up. Well, take our time. We have an AFK mouse at base. I wish the STB would come back. He's not useful. Mouse will fire a shot. Soon. No? Oh, you came back? Come on, he stopped right in the middle. There we go. No more of him. Big box tanks. I know he's up here. I have two FE 455s behind me. I'm no worries. The DPM sucks. <laughs> Uh, last show in the clip, it takes a while. I don't want a FE4 double five in my face. That's the only thing I don't want. Also, the Yak Panzer you 100 but he's not looking this way. Four, five. Oh, God, the rear load sucks. Missed. Sure did. You missed in the face. <laughs> you missed at blank close range. Oh. We'll push you and lead you into the FE 4 double fives. There we go. 
Can I actually pin with high explosive AT? Oh, E3 behind my ass. Oh, no. No E3s, please. Portable 5? No, he left. Oh, this thing is up here. Just reload the shells. We're losing the bottom. Nice. This DB is working that guy over. Sup? Four double five is here. Uh, we're still reloading. Don't get E3. Oh shit! <laughs> Don't get E3. It's fine. We have a decent cover. Run. Yeah, he'll waste his repair kit. I'll waste the reload. It's fine. For now. Run, 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 run. I'll give you a chance to run. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. I told you to run, you idiot. <laughs> you donkey. <laughs> don't have a shot ready. He already fired. It's fine. I reload faster than him. Ow, gold shell. You really want to contest this? Oh, he didn't die. I'm go. I'm dead. Goddamn low damage roll. What? 443. Son of a bitch. He didn't die. The mouse is AFK. I tried. Well, 5,000 damage is not bad. 4,900? Yeah, close enough. So, yeah, don't get caught out. That's a very big deal. And, Jesus, it sure didn't deal with 600 damage to me. Oof. Everybody spams gold and, yeah. Don't. <laughs> Maybe I'll win. Um, but, uh, I still think. I still think the tier 9 might be the sweet spot. Since the tier 9 has the DPM, but it, it doesn't have it doesn't have the tier higher. <laughs> also, it has the loader. And the loader could have, you know, situational, not situational awareness, uh, safe stowage. So, uh, ammo racking is a deal. And DPM is about the same. <laughs> Though, the accuracy and the aim time is not as good. Granted, and the gun depression is a little bit long. So, maybe. Tier 9 may be the sweet spot. Mobility wise, also a little bit slower. But, hmm. Let's see. I think the armor is decent enough. Uh, not the stock turret, obviously. Let's see. Upgraded version. Uh, you cannot penetrate yourself. Oh, yeah. 250. Well, Gold Show still will go through. High explosive anti tank at, you know, high penetration, such as a 250, let's say 270 millimeter pen high explosive anti tank. Half the time it'll go through the turret front. If it's a uh, APCR round, more than half, slightly more than half. If they have like 300 millimeters of pen, yeah, it'll go through. <laughs> like two thirds of the time. Actually, three fourths. Of the time it will go through even more so or even about the same with high penetration high explosive anti tank round but you are gun depressed and it's a lot more difficult though the upper play is well for ap yeah you'll you'll bite through the upper plate too high of a pin yeah upper play is about 200 i think the tier 9 might be the sweet spot but as for the rhino the Rhinoceronte, the Rhinoceronte. Um, uh, it has, the gun performance is great, other than shooting on the move. That's it. That's all it is. And obviously, the turret armor is not as reliable. But imagine playing a Projecto 65 
except you have a bigger bite to your gun. At the downside of, uh, DPM is not as good. Well, DPM is not as good for the projecto, but then again, it's a medium. It does have four rounds, and you can load this uh, four more rounds or one more round into the clip, compared to one more or uh, three rounds in the Rhino. So technically, I don't know. I don't know which I feel about it. I mean, this thing got nerfed because you cannot put a rammer. But the premium version at tier 8 got buffed because it couldn't put a rammer. So maybe put vents on this to see how good this thing is. Uh, yeah, maybe vents. You can also put uh, mobility buff. I don't know. It feels gutted. Well, it doesn't feel really gutted, but it just feels... Every nerf feels bad. And we're waiting on, <laughs> we're waiting on the Rhino to finish. But, uh, yeah, tier 9 might be the sweet spot. I won't think about the tier 8. Tier 8 has a weird cleft in terms of a turret design. I get it, the batch is available. Leave me alone, I don't want the batch. Uh, tier 8. Tier 8's turret has a weird cleft. And the stock turret is not that good. And you also have a weak spot, but still. This weird cleft, and you can shoot below the cleft, and it will pin. So shooting here, it's only two, well, only 230, as you would say, but that's still good for a tier 8. 220 is less desirable, but hey, upper plate is about, we lost? Oof. Upper plate is about, ooh, 180-ish. Ah, close enough to the tier 10. <laughs> Maybe the tier 8 and tier 9 might be the sweet spot. Might be. Upper parts of the turret is 40 so that will overmatch a lot of the lower caliber shells other than the 122s and above all right yeah tier 10 you play it as a medium in my honest opinion you don't play it as a heavy i think it's all right it's a eight out of five but it's really team dependent in my honest opinion unless you are like last five players left and you have a good team supporting you but i still think this is more of a team based dependent heavy tank really team dependent heavy tank and yay 5000 damage now says afk it's all right we did as best as we could with the vehicles that were alive <laughs> freaking last shot on the fv4005 was low damage roll you got them rng <laughs> Cannot help, but yeah, it's all right. So there you go, folks. The Rhinoceroni, the Rhinoceronte, however you pronounce it. Um, it's a niche. I wouldn't recommend it. If you like gun depression, if you like assaulting heavy tanks, go with the Super Conquer. Not a bad choice. Go with the Object 277. That's also a breakthrough assault heavy tank, even though you don't have as much gun depression. If you like the 277, but you do wish more gun depression, I think you would like the 5A, the WZ-111 5A. This thing has like 7, right? If I remember correctly. 7 degrees of gun depression. You might like the 5A a little bit more than the 277 in terms of gun depression, but this thing has two weak spots on top of the turret, so that's the only downside. I think it has maybe more DPM than the 277. Let's take a look. Just to be sure. Uh, obviously, without all the equipments and bursting arms and stuff. Uh, uh, DPM? Yep, it has more DPM than the 277. So if you like assaulting heavy tanks, if you like the gun depression, 277, 5A, all good choices. Same goes with the Super Conqueror, but Super Conqueror is a lot more impenetrable, but it's slower. So, take your pick. This is more of a T57 heavy ish. If you like the Projecto 65, you'll probably like this thing. But there you go, folks. This patch will likely come out in the next couple of weeks. So I won't think, I don't think there's going to be another iteration of the test server. If there is, it's going to be a quick one and without any buffs. So they did not change it from first iteration to the second one. I wouldn't expect it for a change from the second one to the third one, but. Likely see this soon, but thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.
Peace. Juicy, juicy, I'll eat that lunch.